What's up, everyone? And welcome to another episode of Rocket Dogs Rocket Chainsaw Toy Finders or GSDF2 Short. It's a new show, and in this episode, we are also doing Garage Chainsaw Toy Finders Season 11, Episode Number 32, where we try to answer the question: Is it difficult to transform? Today, we're talking about this guy. Taking a look at this guy, which transforms Beast Wars Ram Horn. That's two words: Ram Horn, and he is basically like a, um, a beetle. Uh, more or less similar to is it bombshell uh, from the Insecticons G1 Insecticons, but man, obviously this is this is creepier looking and he he yeah that's that's pretty cool that's pretty cool alt mode. So now um it's six of one. That, uh, let's try to transform him into his robot mode and see how well whether we will have difficulty or not. But as per it's now six o two. As per these Beast Wars toys, it's generally not a difficult. It's not difficult to transform them. So um. Off the bat, you can already see those are the legs. Just fold, fold, and oop, I guess those stay there. The, and the nice touch here is there's tabs there, and they tab to the underside of the foot. So that was a nice little clue for me when I was first trying to transform this guy. But um, okay, and then these are gonna be his arms. Okay, and then his. I don't know what's, what happens next, actually. I forgot now how this thing works. Because um, I pre-transformed him. And certainly I have a Tritreticus, another copy. Oh, I see something here. Okay, so we got those out. Now we need his... Oh, his beast mode head is right there. How do I? Okay. And then what? Is it? Is that it? I I didn't actually look at what he looks like in his um robot mode, mainly because I mean I'm not really after his his robot mode, but man, if that is his robot mode, that's that's a lot of kibble. Or should I say, that's a lot of beetle. Can he even stand? Nope. Nope. Can these go out of the way? And we should force them out. Oops, I didn't mean to force him out of the way like that. But sure. Okay, I mean... Oh boy. Okay, that's a little too, too loose. But, I, I mean, it's there. Okay, you're just gonna fold it back instead of these. Oh, this is too many ball joints to allow for the panels, which to be honest, I'm not a big fan of. Yeah, but more or less, this is how he is. You can have these things be there on the side, but maybe just put them out of the way. I mean, it's it's fairly simple robot mode, I would think. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do this and that, and that. That is more or less it. I mean, I'll, I'll leave it at like that. It's probably not exactly like that. Um, nah, not bad. <laughs> Did I get it right though? Seems like there's other parts that can fold in, but anyway, some um, that is that. Let's try to. That looks like a robot to me. I mean, but I mean, it's just a ton of kibble, but it's also because, and you'll see it here, I'll go show you my other copy of Tripraticus that I have for sale. Um, he basically splits into two, more or less? No, he just spreads out, becomes two pieces. So we're gonna do that right now. Split him up into two. So this part will spin out, like so. This will be one arm, okay. Okay, and then this will be another arm somehow. Or just okay, I get it. Just these two front legs. Oh, also the head. Does it spin out? Does it? It I feel like it should spin out. No. Um. Oh. Okay. What's going on now? 
the um, nope, that's not how it works. I thought you were supposed to do that. And whoa. Oh boy. Wow, this is a little bit more bold than I thought. I, I mean, I did it here already. And I don't understand why I'm not doing it again. Oh, I get it. Okay. This little bar here basically will go inside of... Um, so it spins. Okay. It's going to look like that. It's something here should rotate, but I, I, I'm having a hard time rotating stuff. Um, which is... Which makes it difficult. Oh. Should do that and then okay, rotate. But this whole thing should fold out. And I don't okay, it looks like that. Whole thing should fold out fine. We can do that. But then oh man. This is difficult to transform. I did it already once. So for some reason, they, I, I can't do it on this figure. Something, I guess there's something that's tabbed in or something. On this figure, that's preventing me from doing it. So one thing I noticed is this thing has this part. And that one doesn't. And I do have that extra bit here. Uh, I don't know how it comes out, so that one should go in there. I mean, how do you, I guess this is, this panel, is it tapped in? I suppose it's like that. Is it tapped in? Oh, might be breaking something. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's meant to be broken. Oh boy, um... So, so this is the case where we, we we know how it's done. So it's not difficult to transform. The answer to the question, is it difficult to transform, is a no. But execution-wise, that, that's where we're, we are having trouble is it doing it. So, of course, there's a chance that we might um, have to... Well, we might break something permanently, and that means it is difficult to transform. And which is unfortunate... So something, oh brother, I, something has to fold out. It won't fold out. This whole thing has to fold out, but it won't. What's going on? So th okay, this whole thing on tabs, those, okay, I see it. So there's really just, those are, that's the trouble. Sometimes you have a panel that's tabbed in, you don't know how it's tabbed in. You could just easily break it. So you just kind of force it out because it's 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 hooked in there somehow. There you go. That was a difficult part, man. But now after doing that, now it's easy to rotate. And he will be like that when we plug him in, something like that. This is like his arm, or fist, whatever. Uh, three fingers, sort of. And this can be like a weapon for him. I don't know where to connect it yet. Or maybe it goes, it goes somewhere. But for now, we'll hold this and so we have that guy for that. And we're just gonna try to... Um, make something out of these these things. So, I mean, yeah, sure, you, you can make that as like his... his other arm. And now we can sh 
should be able to plug this in here somehow, somewhere. Actually, we did it. So this is Sikarakon. We looked at him last episode. So he's supposed to tuck in there somehow. Let's drop down his legs first. So th this is a very cool combiner concept. And this is 19, basically mid-1990s. It's very cool. There you go. That's it. Pull this back, have it there, and there you go. Almost half of Cicatacon. I mean, Tripredicus. Combining Cicatacon with Ramhorn. So Ramhorn, all that kibble is really more for... What you call this? The, um, the combined mode. And it, it, it pays off, right? So... There's this, um, I feel like this has to go somewhere, but I can't figure it out just yet. Maybe it doesn't. Where? Oh, I mean, okay. I mean, it should have stayed in here. Uh, yeah. Okay, it should be like that. Just additional weaponry for him or something. But that's it. And that is about it for this episode of Raji.com's Garage Sale Transformers. So if matters are DSD, too short, it's a new show. Once again, this is a show where we try to answer the question, does it difficult to transform? Today we took a, took a look at Transformers Beast Wars, Ramhorn, who combines with Katakon, and one other person we're going to, one other robot, Beast Wars robot, we're going to talk about in the next episode. Uh, they combine to form Predacus. We have a version here that's incomplete. This is our current version. Uh, that being said, yeah, we hope you liked this episode. If you did, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. Also, please follow us on our social media channels. We're on Patreon, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Last but not least, please share this video with your friends, your family, your loved and everybody you know, including your enemies, because they might start to like you again, as Alphonse Prime would say. And until next time, Protocons Terrorize!